Hi, welcome to this year's virtual Light Up A Life. In view of the current situation uh, that the whole nation is undergoing with coronavirus, we wanted to take a moment and hopefully offer some comfort to those who've experienced loss or bereavement of some kind this year. A lot of us are in a similar situation. Um, it may be that we're grieving for birthdays that couldn't be celebrated together, being there with a loved one at end of life, or holidays that were planned and couldn't take part. So we wanted to bring a virtual event where people can enjoy it from the comfort of their own home, but know that they are sharing the experience with others. So we would like to, to broadcast some readings, specifically around remembrance, reflection, and we will be lighting candles together. And I think it'll be a really poignant moment to think that we're not alone in this, we're all doing this at the same time and sharing whatever those experiences may be, everybody's individual personal experiences, um, but it, hopefully it'll help unite us.
This is a poem by Christina Rossetti, Echo. Come to me in the silence of the night. Come in the speaking silence of a dream. Come with soft rounded cheeks and eyes as bright as sunlight on a stream. Come back in tears, O oh memory, hope, love of finished years. O oh dream, how sweet, too sweet, too bitter sweet, whose wakening should have been in paradise, where souls brimful of love abide and meet, where thirsting, longing eyes watch the slow door that opening, letting in, lets out no more. Yet come to me in dreams, that I may live my very life again, though cold in death. Come back to me in dreams, that I may give pulse for pulse, breath for breath. Speak low, lean low, as long ago, my love, how long ago. Most people will be glad to see the back of 2020. From a global perspective, we seem to have had more than our fair share of natural disasters with forest fires and earthquakes and floods, all of which have left their scar on the land, scars that are, are even visible from space. But from an individual perspective too, it's been a difficult year. The loss of loved ones, yes, but also the loss of many aspects of our lives that we've come to take for granted, precious aspects, all of which leave their own scars. And these may be less visible, but they are there all the same. Scars are a constant reminder of the sad and difficult times in our lives. The thoughts they bring to mind can trip us up when we least expect it, and they can stop us from moving on in our lives. They can weigh us down and blind us to anything that is positive, even the remembering of good things from the past. I was thinking how sad it is that we often have to struggle to remember the good times. How sad times are so much easier to recall. The memories of good times don't leave a scar like pain and loss do. I sometimes wish they did so that it would be easier for us to recall them when our times are not so positive and when we are in the midst of sadness and trouble. Bringing back memories of happier times is an important part of coping with bereavement. It will be difficult at first because, of course, they will remind us, like our scars, of what we have lost. However, there's one thing about scars that gives us hope. They generally do fade, leaving us with all those precious memories. In the days ahead, may the scars from your loss gradually disappear, leaving you with only happy memories that will strengthen, comfort and encourage you all. Some Thoughts by Rabbis Sylvan Caymans and Jack Reamer At the rising of the sun and in its going down we remember them At the blowing of the wind and the chill of winter we remember them At the opening of the buds and in the rebirth of spring we remember them at the blueness of the skies and in the warmth of summer, we remember them. At the rustling of the leaves and in the beauty of autumn, we remember them. 
at the beginning of the year and when it ends, we remember them. As long as we live, they too will live, for they are now a part of us as we remember them. When we are weary and in need of strength, we remember them. When we are lost and sick at heart, we remember them. When we have joy, we crave to share, we remember them. When we have decisions that are difficult to make, we remember them. When we have achievements that are based on theirs, we remember them. As long as we live, they too will live, for they are now a part of us as we remember them. And now, I would like you all to take a moment to light your candles as we remember. I lift my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? I am helped through the darkest times by memories, by friends and loved ones, and by God who has made us for each other. And I am grateful. Although today we are separated, I ask for help in believing that we shall be together again. Although sometimes the memories are so strong, they sweep me over the edge into the greatest wonder, the most bitter tears, or the fiercest yearnings. Yet they are the very proof that the love that has vanished has not ended. And I am grateful. Although I may dread the joyful and noisy celebrations of the seasons, because they cry aloud that my loved one is no longer here. Yet they remind me that life goes on and will not be denied. Life is still to be lived. And I am grateful. I lift my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? I am helped to lift my heart above this dark valley to the crests and peaks of mystery to know that I do not know everything, but there is one who does and has known me, and I am grateful. So thank you for that love that was shared and now is mine alone. Thank you for those memories that have changed my landscape. May they become ploughed furrows in which tomorrow's hopes may grow and yield a harvest. Help me to lift my weeping eyes in hope to you and see wonders. Amen. So I'd like to draw us all to a close now. It's been a privilege to share this moment of reflection with you all. Thank you for those that have joined us. If you do need some more support, 
feel free to contact the hospice. There will be details of how you can and we would encourage you to do so if you need to. Who knows what next year is going to bring, but as long as we be safe, take care and be kind to each other. Thank you. Left me with a broken heart the day you went away. You left me with just memories to get me through the day. And I wanted to go with you. I could not bear the pain to see your kind, sweet face. Or to hold you close again They tell me time's a healer I find that this is not true With every passing minute All my thoughts are still with you so forgive me if you see me cry This pain is mine to bear It really is so hard to live Now that you're, you're not there And I miss you so much I People say that life goes on Although that this might be true I cry myself to sleep at night So lonely without you and Although my heart's still beating Inside it's broken too The biggest part of me died on the day that I lost you And I miss you oh so much I always will I loved you in your time together again 
back together again.